Hello everybody, welcome to Shell Nation, the best shell station you ever did see. Just wanted to do a little introductory um, video welcoming you to my page. Um, I'm obsessed with shelling, just doing this for fun. Um, I just like to spread the shellcation of it all. So I just recently booked my um, trip of the year to go to the shell capital of North America, Captiva and um, Sanibel Island. So I'm starting to order all my goodies and get prepared. Um, y'all will be with me. Y'all will be coming with me. Um, I just got today delivered my new shell bags and my selfie stick to get this a go. So I just wanted to show you my shell bag. I'm going to open it. First off though, when you do get a shell bag, I have several, um, some are more durable than others. Some close, some don't, some have straps on them, some don't. My suggestion to you, if you wanna go snorkeling or shelling, is to always have a bag that goes crossbody and that closes in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be um, closes via zipper or ties together or um, Velcro, etc. So I got one, um, I thought this one zippered, but apparently it doesn't, it just has Velcro but you wanna make sure that it stays closed when you're underwater, because everything's buoyant underwater. So when you're snorkeling, you want to be able to close it so the shells don't you know, float out, especially the little ones. Um, and you don't wanna get a shell bag that has too big of holes in it, because if you're like me and I make things with some of my shells, I need little, the little tiny shells that I get can go through the holes. So yeah, it's all up to whatever you wanna get and whatever y'all are looking for on the beach. But, so let's open this puppy. Every year I figure out what I need to do my shelling better. So this year I figured out I need a shell bag that actually closes because I get sick of constantly going up to the sand and dropping my shells off or having one hand to shells while I'm snorkeling underwater and only have one hand to work with um, or having a shell bag and them floating out as I'm swimming. So. Let's do this. Here is my shell bag. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so look at the adjustable strap. Boom, boom. See this? We can go crossbody. I can swim all day. I have one of those um, full face snorkel masks. So that allows me to stay down when I'm actually snorkeling for about 20, 30 minutes before I get like a little lightheaded. So, um, I definitely don't like to come up every five minutes, especially when I'm down at Sanibel Island and like, that's like a plethora. That's like the gold mine of shelling. So anyways, yeah, here we go. And I'll show you. This is it. Boom, boom. Nothing fancy, you know, it's going to get in the water. It's going to be in the sand. Don't spend a lot of money. Just make sure you have what you want. It has like a little Velcro. Or make sure you get something crossbody so you can swim. I get so annoyed being down underwater for like 15 minutes and have to, and say I'm like way out. I gotta swim all the way back to the shore because I have so many shells and no hands to keep looking. So that shell bag will come in handy. Next, we got selfie stick. So let's open that here. Here we go. Fancy. See that? I never thought in a million years that I would be somebody that does, um, that owns a selfie stick. I'm just not that person. I don't know. But if I'm going to be doing this with y'all and y'all are going to be going to come in on my um, adventures with me, I guess I do need one of these. So I got a pretty durable one, not a plastic one or anything. I don't think it's very cheap, but ooh, fancy. Ooh. Hey guys! So yeah. Yep. So I just wanted to um, say hello to y'all and stay tuned with me. I, I'll be doing, I don't know, I'm not going to make any declarations or anything, but I will be doing several videos. Um, can't get to the beach just yet. It's just starting to warm up. The water's just starting to warm up. So um yeah, hopefully next time I see y'all, I will be on the beach and we will be doing some shelling. I might be doing some shellcation videos here and there too. I'm obsessed with shells. If you see, these are like 
some of my pride and joys back here. Um, but yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a shelltastic day. Bye.